Cheers, Chris from 40 Thrive. And I've been doing the keto diet or the keto lifestyle as I like to call it for a little over two years, going on about two and a half years now. And I have certain goals in mind when it comes to eating like this. Um, I'm trying to uh, take in as much uh, uh, nutritious uh, fats and proteins as possible to help me out with some of my, uh, my physical goals. I'm trying to put on some muscle. Um, also, I enjoy not having inflammation. I enjoy not feeling bloated. I enjoy um, just the overall effects of eating the way I do. However, it is important to not get locked into uh, things just because you feel like uh, it's going to completely derail you. Um, you know, this, this might be maybe, you know, pressures in a social situation, which I know I've said, you know, try not to succumb to those and there are ways to navigate that. Um, uh, or for instance, if you're eating a certain way, like if you're like me and you have been eating a very, very strict high fat, high protein diet, uh, and for whatever reason, you've just been eating the same things over and over and over again. And now your body's kind of saying no, like it's okay to mix it up a little bit. Um, through, I guess you could say, kind of just uh, uh, just not really being aware of it, I've really just been eating a ton of uh, steak and eggs lately. Not much more than just steak and eggs. And there's people that can't eat like that indefinitely. But um, I think something threw off uh, my microbiome a little bit, uh, possibly stemming from I've been trying to chew a lot more uh, gum lately to help encourage, you know, uh, a healthier mouth. Um, just the mere act of chewing is good for you. Uh, it produces a lot of saliva and I purchased a gum that uh, is sweetened with xylitol. Uh, and after um, a little bit of research, I found out that xylitol can cause some, uh, some stomach discomfort uh, and all that fun stuff that comes with it. So, um, I'm paying for that today and I think trying to shove in more meat and eggs into my body today, you know, might cause some more issues. Who knows? Maybe I was taking in too much fat, which I know can lead to some stomach discomfort. Taking in too much protein can also lead to some discomfort. So I decided that it's okay to go ahead and mix things up a little bit and even though I am trying to avoid dairy as a whole, um, I couldn't help but notice, and I've never noticed this before, but one of my favorite cheeses from Aldi says on the label here that it is uh, uh, aged, it's a, it's a raw milk, um, unless I grabbed the wrong one, god damn it, no it is, okay, ah, an artisanal raw milk, and uh, it's Gruyere cheese, and it's aged six months, and uh, it has a wonderful flavor, so I purchased that. Also, something else that is really good for your gut microbiome is something that is loaded with um, prebiotics, not probiotics, prebiotics. And these are the things that your uh, gut flora like to feed on. Uh, and one of those things is I love this stuff. You don't always find it. Um, and amazingly, just because it's made with apple, I, I thought it would be higher in carbs or sweeter, but there's absolutely... Uh, little to no sugars in this. Um, dietary sugars, three grams, three, gra three grams of carbs, and this is made with red cabbage, which is uh, super, super good for you, uh, and some apple. Um, it does have the uh, healthy probiotics and the prebiotics in this, and that's one of the reasons why I enjoy that. Also, another cruciferous vegetable that is great for um, uh, restoring your gut health is uh, Brussels sprouts and so I'm going to slice these down the middle I'm going to sear them a little bit in the pan and as well as a, uh, a steak and I'm going to throw the whole thing in the oven and have that cooking up while I work out downstairs also I had a crazy craving for this stuff today uh, it's a really fun textured cheese it's actually shaved and as they shave it it kind of takes on this beautiful kind of like uh, Kind of almost looks like a like a carnation almost. Kind of looks like floral. Almost looks like a uh, like a type of mushroom. Um, 
Also something else that is really good to help soothe your stomach uh, is cucumber. And cucumber is super great on a keto diet. Uh, I like to slice these up really thin and uh, sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. And there's a, a really fun, uh, crunchy snack to enjoy while you're relaxing. So these are some options for you if you want some variety um, to get away from your meat and your eggs all the time. These are completely keto friendly whole foods that you can enjoy. Uh, and of course, it doesn't hurt to enjoy them with a little bit of, uh, of this dry red wine. And this is just a, uh, just a red blend uh, from an Aldi brand. And uh, it's one of my favorites. So hope that gives you a little bit of, uh, of it gives you a few options. And don't forget, don't get locked into uh, your diet so much that you're not afraid to switch it up a little bit. All right. Well, thank you very much. Please keep uh, watching and liking and subscribing and sharing so we can grow this channel and, uh, and get more followers and, and get you more content. Cheers.